what's going on right there, but here we go. Let me say here we go. All right. All right, now, we learned something about, and I believe this is the, my summary of what in yesterday's year we were talking about, is, is that the neshamas of a family, all of us really are related to the to the original neshama of Adam and Risha, but in, in truth, we lose people. Everybody doesn't stay in this world. All neshamas don't stay because they don't stay with our bodies. Our bodies rot. So over here, we're going to come and talk about more and get some more ideas of what happens as a result of the loss of a close relative, which is impinges and causes lesions and smallness of mind in the people who mourn him. So let's go over here and say like this. And again, we're talking about, these are all called Havdamos, which means introduction. So it's one more introduction after another. You thought, that is, the, the Zohar actually talks about this, and he says, you know, that Nishamos uh, are recycled. Okay, and Nishamos, all the whole business is cycled. But remember, Nishamos are not by themselves. They're inside of Ruach, and they're inside also of the Nefesh. So let's let's read some more. Vod Nechadesh of the Nivar. Now we're going to say something new. We'll explain this. Daki called Bechinas and Nefashas, all of the different aspects, which is called Nefashas. And earlier he said Nefashas refers to Olamasia. Hey, Olamasia Bilvad. They only come from Olamasia. Vechob Bechinas and Ruchos, all of the Ruchos. This is a general rule in Kabbalah, but you can understand a little bit more. Let's see if goes. Of Ruchos, Hey, Olam Yetzira. They refer to Olam Yetzira. But everybody doesn't have all of those different qualities. Quality is a tremendous light. And we talk about Siddiquim. Everybody knows that if you know me, that you know that I'm very close to the Torah of Rabbi Nachman the Breslov. Where they talk about Siddiquim all the time there. And the power of a person who is able to reach the levels of Chayyacheda all the time. That is a tremendous light for us to help us get, get through different ideas. So he says, So these five are called Nefesh, Ruch, Neshama, and then Chayin, Yechida. So here we're talking about an Olam Asiyah. We're only talking about the concept of Nefesh. So he says, Because it refers specifically to the world of action in which we live. But also in this, there's lots of different levels. Because we say like this, the Asiya itself, is divided into five parts. That's what we say, that in each one is five. So it is, that's how you get five times five is 25, because there's a Naranthi, and each one of them has a Naranthi. I so understand it's not so simple. So he said, but as we're learning this, we're learning... Mocha the godless. So the Nick Rhyme Gam Eric Anpen, which is Yechida, the Abba, which is called Ima, Neshama, which is, excuse me, Ima is called Neshama, Zer Anpen is the Ruach, and the Nukva, that is Malchus, is the Nefesh. And let's look at Ola Masiya. Ola Masiya is the place where the, where the concept, the light of the Ainsof is called Nefesh. But in itself, it also has the five, excuse me, five different bechinos which are called naranchi. The hainu, it's to say, yesha tika nefesh benefesh. There is a concept like this: you have to fish the nefesh part of nefesh, and then receive that light. And then you have to make a tikkun in the ruch shaba nefesh, and then you receive that light, the chain hollow. And as you go on further, let's look a little bit more. We're trying to understand souls. Bless my soul, they say, right? Bless my soul. Well, what are we finding out here? It's not so, so, not so simple. The soul has five parts. Each one of the five parts has five. So let's go on. So before a person, explaining this out a little bit more, what we said previously, he says that a person could be able to is to be able to reach this ruach, this level of ruach, and the ruach of which is attached to the olam yitzira kedei In order, why to be able to rebuild it? Now, what does rebuilding mean? Well, this is a funny thing about Kabbalah. 
rebuilding means instead of adding light, which we're trying to do. But the light of the Ain Sof is totally and totally and completely undigestible. It would destroy us because it's nothing and we are something. So another for words for that light to be able to come to ha come to us, and this is a word we say many times in the Shur, it has to has to proceed a level which is called hismatus of the Lord, Elimin uh, limiting, limitation, li limiting the light of the Ainsa. From one world to the next, the light is more and more limited until we get to our world, where it's very difficult to find it, as you see humanity. But that's what we do. So it's sarach ashiyiyah sholem b'kol hamisha partzufin nefesh dasiyah. You have to have a neranchi. The whole neranchi of yasiyah has to be put together. V'lifnei zera b'dor yakabel as a ruach. And if you don't, are unable to be misakin. In other words, limit the light down, make it flow beautifully, but making it smaller and smaller and smaller as you can go. He says this is the preliminary to be able to be able to receive the kabel as a ruach the concept of ruach which comes from olam yitzira which is a level of more illumination so he said that is the shor shahi that are people who have their nefesh and the root the the root of that nefesh Min malchus to Asiya from the lowest part of Asiya, because Asiya will have ten spheres as well. We have a kesser of Asiya all the way down to a malchus of Asiya. V'yesh min yisod the Asiya, and then there's going to be from the yisod there's going to be a whole ten of them. Ah, the kesser the Asiya until all of Asiya is that the light flows in the proper way from all of us to all of Asiya. Im calls that with all of this, sarsh yisakin kol ish for ish kol klalos olam Asiya. It's necessary for a person. To affect this tikkun, and remember, tikkun means two things. Well, I guess you could say two. First, it means his mouth is a light, limitation of the light. But the part is that limited, limit, limiting the light has to flow still, has to continue to flow. Has to continue to flow. See, so he says, Yim calls that sarash yasakin call ish for ish call klalos olam all of the general parts parts of of asiyah the ainu as called bechinas and the all the different aspects of the souls, which is the whole neranchi shehim call bechinas agasiyah mishor shalom from the root of that asiyah. Behind the she yasakin is called amalchio, so that is what oh a yisod the shiba shiba hey partzuf. So what it means like this. If you're dealing with the malchus of Asiya, which is the lowest part of Asiya, or you're talking about the Yisodis, which is the which is the level slightly up above it, Shivhe part Sufi Masiya, because there are five parts Sufi Masiya, which again, from the bottom to the top, are Malchus, Zer Anpin, Abba which is Chachman Bina, and Kasser. All of those have to be a tikkun, but in the Ola Masiya, Shesham Shorsha, because that's where this person's root is, the root of his soul. But now that he's made that tikkun, and he's brought the light into this lower, his lowest level, then he could get a greater level of light. They come from the Olam HaSiyah, in order to be able to build that. The Because Yitzira, that is the level of light, of a hidden world which is closer to the Ein Sof is much greater than the entire. The, 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 the let me read his, his word. He said the fisher shayitzira godo because yitzira itself, the light it says of of all of the worlds, all of the different aspects of all of Asiya, which is the world of action. He says that this is greater than all of them. Rotzalomer I means to say like this: shorish katan shalaruach. If you took the smallest root of ruach. Shemin ha-yitzira, they come from Yitzira, who godl me kol bechinas a nefesh. In other words, if you took the malchus, the light of the malchus, of the nefesh of Olam Yitzira, I guess that's the best way to say that, it's going to be greater than any of the light that is in Olam Asir. Shemin ha-sir l'chein i after shu yizcha de bechinas a So therefore it's impossible for the person to reach this level where the lowest part of Yitzira is greater than all of Asiyah, you have to pull yourself up into that 
קודם שהיא השולה בבחינת הקטנה ממנה, you have to be complete in the נרנכי of עולם עשייה. שהרבה על כל צריך להיות בסדר המדרגות, because everything has to be in the order of מדרגות. So we understand the lowest part of the higher world is greater than the entire lower world. I remember the world, world, the word world that we translate in English really means hidden worlds. This is Baruch Fleischmann, Tikkun Elevator Kolel.